putting up some numbers out there, man. <laughs> this matchup, honestly, we don't have a lot of uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of data to go off of. There haven't been a lot of uh, clouds in general. I would I would say um, I would imagine that um, Zero Suit's gonna use um, her Zare to keep Cloud out with the back airs and the forward airs. Um, try to keep the space between them because right. you can catch him with a Zare and. Um, you know, get an awkward landing, maybe into a grab or so, some type of follow-up. So she could kind of keep away from Cloud more than uh, more space than Cloud needs to get in. You know, okay. exactly. So just like what um, he's doing right now. Also, one of uh, Zero Suit's main uh, approaching aerial options is that landing neutral air. Yeah. And we also see a uh, Diabeo opt for that up yet of shield to try and punish aerials on shield. Oh man. But okay. because of how quick that neutral air uh, ends, it's it's not punishable on shields from that uh, up yeah. from Cloud. That up B is very godlike, man. <laughs> yeah, that up B is a, a Swiss Army knife in a move, dude. <laughs> Alright, and he's, um, yeah, man, they look oh. That looks like it's gonna kill, definitely, with some rage as well. With it, man, took the first stock from Dio Bale. Yeah. Bale answers, man. Caught him slipping. Dio Bale dropped the shield just a little bit too early, got caught by the down smash. Yeah. And now Mr. Riddle is extending on his lead. And I really like how he's just keeping the space between and keeping some fate, um, some safe. Ooh, got hit with a straight back air, man. Yeah, that back air is definitely going to take the stock at ledge on Town and City. Oh, man, and it looks like Diabeo is really trying to pick oh. oh, good DI for Mr. Riddle to stay on stage. Okay. Ooh, he's get some damage from that. Oh. oh. He just had to. He just had to let it swing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sorry. Ooh, and that no, back air. Definitely. Sometimes you do have to, but at the same time, you want to make sure you know understand that limit is a game. You don't want to just use it any time. But he's definitely down by so on um, the whole stock right now. And a little bit of percent. I want to see how he's gonna clutch it out. Yeah, and Mr. Riddle is gonna play that same game that we've been seeing him play: spacing airs, mixing in landing airs and rising forward airs to catch that way off guard. And just a raw forward smash, trying to close out the stock as quickly as he can. It's it, I, it's one of those positions as a player that it looks so bleak that you're just trying to get the stock yeah. as quickly as you can, so you throw out more unsafe moves than you normally would. Ooh. And because of that, he's gonna yes. get. Man, he wow. I, honestly, yeah, I think I think that wasn't the best DI. But either way, Mr. Riddle taking the first game. Solidly with a two stock, high percent. Definitely. Um, I want to see. Um, Diabeo Di seemed like he was looking for a lot more hard reads than needed. Um, it seemed like Mr. Riddle was just playing very safe, keeping neutral, landing neutral with his zeros and his neutral airs, keeping um, Diabeo at bay, you know, away from him. Yeah, exactly. Um, I want to see how Diabeo um, adapts to that, you know, that pressure that he's, uh, he's allowed to happen to him. Yeah, and Daibeo uh, opting to run it back to town and city. Um, we have a new stage list. It's uh, It also runs uh, three bands and no DSR. So the three bands lets you either opt to ban a stage that your opponent already won on or instead defer to a, uh, a different stage that you think might be better for them. Which I really, I, I personally think is better than having two bands in uh, yeah, DSR. I definitely love the, two band, um, the three band rule. It gets you. It, it, I feel like um, when you have, um, there's certain characters that may be good on Battlefield and then also Yoshi. Right, you have a, a right. triplet situation and then. And then you're like, I gotta get rid of both of them, but you also don't like maybe Lilac or something. Exactly. <laughs> and then it's like, come on, you know. So, I like it. Definitely. And I feel like it makes the counter pick game a lot more. Stop. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, forward smash calling out the uh, spot dodge from Diabeo and ooh, terrible ooh, DI on that forward air. Ooh, that forward air took that life right there. And he's definitely in a, another down position again. Um, 121 is his life. Want to see what he can take from him. Yeah. And Diabeo is definitely in that situation where he lost his stock. He whiffed a move, and it's one of those situations where you whiff a move, and then you're just trying to dash away from your opponent as quickly as possible. But because of that, you're also DIing poorly. Good up tilt to catch the landing. Limit on deck, 145 on Mr. Riddle as well. So any any good hit will kill him right now. Yeah, it, it just seems like this, the, the gap um, between them both, like he seems like 
Diabeo is just looking and like searching for a kill. Um, but he's not just letting it come to him. Yeah, and, and the thing is, positions. the thing is, Zirsuit's so good at playing that keep away game, but yeah. uh, Diabeo getting uh, Mr. Riddle to Legend finally sealing up the stock with a forward tilt. Ooh. That was a good attempt because he's at lower enough percentages that it won't really make a big difference. Yeah, risk reward is definitely in his favor there. I love that running up tilt from Diabeo. That's ridiculous. You, you don't pay attention to that. That could hit you. <laughs> Ooh, that good up. He had a shield to punish the Ooh, back air. See, so that, he lived that one at 138 after hit and died the last game across stage at like 120 after hit, even with Mr. Riddle's rage. Back little by little, 61%. Ooh, that side B. Oh, so he's down one stock. Intentionally, his last stock for the game. Um, let's see what he can do to clutch it out. Gonna be a little more patient to try to take this stock from him. Um, make Mr. Riddle. Great call out there with the shield grab to get uh, Mr. Riddle into disadvantage again. Yeah, Diabeo is playing super aggressively. He has been sort of all game. Especially at the start of the game, but I think he sort of slowed down the pace a little bit once he lost that stock so early. Try to go for the roll green, didn't get the commitment for it. He's trying to get a big, oh, very good dash attack. I think that yeah. was one of the best options that he could have done there. It would have covered possibly the get up and um, jump if he did just like he did right there. Yeah. And maybe Ooh. even roll it as well. And just like that, Daimeo's in the lead, trading oh, percent leads back and forth. <laughs> yeah, that upbeat, like we were saying at the beginning of the set, it's just. It solves everything for you. Oh. Speaking of uppies. Not a good place for Ooh. Ooh, and really Ooh, good call good for Mr. Call Riddle, out. but just barely misspacing that back air and actually putting himself in a bad position. At 95%, Diabeo with limit two. Hey, I thought Diabeo was going to do the up air and then turn around and then do the side because you know he wants to get back to the stage. That yeah. Would be like. <laughs> good juggles for Mr. Riddle. That side B is so safe on shield yeah. if you space it. Good forward air. And that's what we were talking about last oh, game. Oh, that almost killed too. Ooh, dash attack. great dash attack. Again, I like that. He didn't allow Mr. Riddle to kind of set up. You know, like, he, he said, you know what? I'm just going to keep my aggression. Um, not allow you to try, kind of think right there. Try to push me back so I yeah. can reset again. I like that. Good burst attack right Yeah, there. I like that dash attack. We only saw a couple of dash attacks in the first two games total, so. And it's great for catching landings. Yeah, it's such I, a big move. Yeah, definitely. I think that's well deserved because, you know, when you do too much dash attack, it gets punished really hard. So I, I'm glad that he did utilization and he's using the riddle by yeah. the Kind of surprising um, Mr. Riddle. And he actually used it and got both stocks with it, two stocks with it. Yeah, he got that second uh, stock, yeah. He yeah. got two stocks with it when it counted. All so right, so going to tri Triplet Yoshi's story. Um, I guess both characters should like this stage. So... Makes sense that it was left open. Ooh, we might see a Lucina right. pick. I think. Well, Bowser. Oh no, I think. Yeah. Okay. Bowser. Sticking to the zero suit. I think the Lucina would have been a slightly riskier choice just because Diabeo probably has more matchup experience, seeing as uh, he lives a little further north, so he probably has some, at least some pillow experience. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and just like. We had mentioned both characters really like the stage just because they have great juggling tools. Namely, their up airs. Yeah, I think the smaller stages do so much well, uh, better for Cloud. Uh, instead of, because, you know, Cloud doesn't have the best run speed or whatnot. So he, it allows him just, like, you know, kind of uh, camp out the platforms a little better for planking. Not planking, but um, sharking under the platforms a little right. better. Ooh, he's trying to get a toughie out of it. He that's a grown man movie trying to yeah, do. Yeah, really aggressive. <laughs> oh, great call and no uh, flip kick anymore. Oh. Yeah, both of, both of them have been uh, doing a really good job of mixing in aggressive uh, landings. Oh, man. Good block by uh, Mr. Riddle for that. That back there would have took this off. Ooh, dash attack once again. Yeah. And you know what? That was the, the same first way. time he used it in that whole stop right there. So it's like he's using it so precisely. And it was the same way that we saw him take stock two of uh, game two, where he caught the uh, drop down double jump back Zare, just beating it out entirely. Flip kick almost killing with the uh, bounce off of the top. That would have been crazy if he killed a 129. 
Oh, that should kill. Yeah, easily. The smaller blast zone is definitely coming uh, in handy there. Great parry. Yeah, parry. That's not easy to parry because it has four different hits. And it, that's another reason that I think both of these characters like the stage is that both of them get so much out of uh, mixing up their recovery with wall jumps. That cross slash, that cross slash whiffing really and good. and because of it, Diabeo actually losing his second stock yes. first. Great job from Mr. Riddle. And Rage definitely took the place right yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> small blast zones plus Rage plus corner of the stage. All right, but Diabeo can definitely take the stock with either a good hit at ledge or one more hit into okay, but he's a little too hungry. But one more hit into a good, good hit should kill for sure. And I think um, Mr. Riddle looks like he's being way more safer. Um, yeah. Spacing him out, waiting till he makes a mistake, so he's kind of doing the whole retreat thing right now. Yeah, content to run away, hold shield, sort of deal. Yeah. Run away, throw something safe. Yeah, Zero, zero Suit. Landings, zero yeah. Suit with her mobility, both with her run speed and just her aerial mobility, and flip kick to mix up landings is so yeah. good at running away. If she has a lead, that's probably one of her strongest, Ooh. strongest ed attributes. That back here didn't take it, okay. Yeah, great DI from Mr. Riddle. All Those zeros from Mr. Riddle. I definitely saw Diabeo punish at least one of them. Oh, Ooh. getting weak hit. That's so <laughs> bad. <laughs> Man, Mr. Riddle out. sort of going for an, uh, an all or nothing up B, and then Diabeo just not getting all right punish. Dash attack again? All right, 76% oh, and almost has limit on deck. Mr. Rose, after this, hopefully, you know. Oh, my God. He's going for that up. Again. Man, he's going to eat himself alive. Win or lose about how many dash attacks he took in this game, man, for the, for the kill. Okay, so Diabeto is going to have to kind of just play on the platforms, get his limit safely, and try to get some hits in without committing. Yeah. Cloud... Even with as strong of a uh, combo game as he has, it's definitely not as strong as it was in Smash 4. His upper definitely took a pretty big hit. Still a really good move, though. Especially for what an upper should be for, which is, you know, juggling and anti airing I love this just spacing oh, there. Oh, that's a big punish. But yeah, oh, Diabeo has definitely done a really good job of just spacing moves to not get punished by this upbeat. And Mr. Riddle is super hungry oh. for it. Oh. Uh oh, 85%. Yeah, this is basically last what he, hit. What do you get another dash attack for the win? Oh, that forward air. <laughs> super clutch. Air dodge? Yeah. Good Smart air dodge. air dodge back to ledge. I was surprised that we didn't see Mr. Real just charge back. a down smash, but good yeah. back air. Very back air. That was the first time we got him with a back air. Yeah. Diabeo visibly upset, but. Diabeo's not too happy. Game three, last hit against 